we are given sine u equals a negative three eighths in quadrant three, and we're asked to find the exact value of the following. To find these trig function values, we will use the half angle identities shown here below. Notice to do this, we will have to find the cosine of angle u. Notice we are given the sine of angle u is negative three eighths. Let's begin by sketching the reference angle for angle u, which is in the third quadrant. Let's assume this is the terminal side of angle u, and therefore the reference angle is this acute angle here. Let's call it u sub r. And the reference triangle is this right triangle. We know that sine u using right triangle trig is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, or in the coordinate plane, sine u is equal to y divided by r. Because we are in the third quadrant, we know that y is negative and r is always positive, and therefore let's write the sine function value of negative three eighths as negative three divided by eight. And therefore we can label y or the opposite side of the reference triangle negative three, and the hypotenuse are r positive eight. Now we need to find x in order to determine the cosine function value of angle u. We do this using the Pythagorean theorem or the formula x squared plus y squared equals r squared, which gives us x squared plus the square of negative three equals eight squared. Simplifying, we have x squared plus nine equals 64. Solving for x squared, we have x squared equals 55. Now we square root both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we have x equals plus or minus the square root of 55. But again, because we are in the third quadrant, we know x is negative, and therefore, for our reference triangle, x is negative square root 55. And now before we find these trig function values, let's find cosine u. Cosine u is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, or x divided by r, which is negative square root 55 divided by eight. And now let's determine sine of u divided by two, which is equal to plus or minus the square root of the quantity one minus cosine u divided by two. Since the given angle u is in the third quadrant, we know it's between 180 and 270 degrees. If we divide everything by two, the angle u divided by two is between 90 and 135 degrees, which is in quadrant two. In quadrant two, since y is positive, the sine function value is positive, and therefore sine of u divided by two is equal to the positive square root of the quantity one minus cosine u, which is one minus negative square root 55 divided by eight, all divided by two. This is the exact value, but let's go ahead and simplify this. We can write this as the square root of one plus the square root of 55 divided by eight, all over two. Let's clear the denominator of eight by multiplying the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by eight. We will multiply the numerator by eight and the denominator by eight, and then simplify further if we can. In the numerator, eight times one is eight, and then we have plus eight times the square root of 55 divided by eight. If the eight simplified to one, giving us plus square root 55. In the denominator, we have eight times two, which is 16. And now we will take the square root of the numerator and denominator separately. This is equal to the square root of eight plus the square root of 55 divided by the square root of 16 square root of 16 is equal to four, and therefore we can write this as the square root of eight plus the square root of 55, all divided by four. And now let's find cosine of u divided by two. Again, u divided by two is in the second quadrant where x is negative, and therefore cosine of u divided by two is going to be negative. So we have negative and then the square root of the quantity one plus cosine u divided by two which gives us one plus negative square root 55 divided by eight, all divided by two, which simplifies to negative square root 
of one minus square root 55 divided by eight all over two. At this point, we multiply the numerator and denominator by eight again, which we did above. The only difference is when we get done simplifying, instead of an addition sign here, we will have a subtraction sign. Cosine u divided by two is equal to negative square root of eight minus square root of 55 all divided by four. And now let's go ahead and find tangent of u divided by two. We have several choices here for tangent of u divided by two, but also because we found sine of u divided by two and cosine u divided by two, we know tangent theta is equal to sine theta divided by cosine theta, so we could just find the quotient of these two. But let's go ahead and find tangent of u divided by two using this formula here, where we have tangent of u divided by two is equal to sine u divided by the quantity one plus cosine u. Well, we know sine u is equal to negative three-eighths, that was given. And one plus cosine u is going to be one plus negative square root of 55 divided by eight. Let's just write that as one minus square root of 55 divided by eight. And again, let's clear the eight from the denominators by multiplying the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by eight. Eight times negative three eighths is equal to negative three. In the denominator, eight times one is eight. And then when multiplying eight and square root 55 over eight, the eight simplified to one, giving us just minus square root 55. Now we have all three exact trig function values. I hope you found this helpful.